I'm here to support the workers employed by Southern Water and to support all the consumers who have been ripped off by water companies for nearly 30 years. We have a situation here locally where 200 people will soon be losing their jobs. This is a public service in private hands. The job losses here in a period of very, very acute um, housing shortages. Anybody with a commitment to pay a mortgage or rent who loses their job is then very vulnerable to becoming homeless. The last CEO left with a golden handshake and was paid, I understand, over £5 million over his tenure. Between 2013 and 2017, they've paid out £622 million to shareholders and to the management. This company have recently been fined £126 million. Pounds. Now that sounds a lot of money, but £123 million has been paid over five years. The reason for the fine is that they have been very deceitful about the amount of pollution that they have been allowing to enter at the sea and our beaches. They've covered it up for seven years. We believe that water should never have been privatised and it now must go in to the hands of the public. I think it's really important that since over 80% of the public in a poll have said they would like to take water back into public ownership, it's really important that we come out as often as possible to remind the government and the private equity firms that the public wants to take water back into public ownership. The present CEO has been paid over a million pounds. Now, the question we've got to ask ourselves, do we trust these people? to carry out the job that they have failed to do so badly. Shocking and shameful. We're issuing a final notice to Southern Water. We've had enough of rising bills, pollution, debt and leaks. After 30 years of disastrous privatisation, it's time to take our water company back into public ownership. Southern Water, this is your final notice. We're taking you back.